Hey everyone, today I want to show you guys how to remove makeup. So instead of putting it on, we're going to be taking it off, including false eyelashes. This is not my skincare update though. That is coming. This is strictly about removing makeup. So let's get started. Weird thing that I do is I actually tuck my hair behind my ears. I don't like tying it up. It ruins my hairstyle, gets my hair wet, and then I can't wear the style the next day. So unless I'm gonna wash my hair, I'm just gonna tuck it behind my ears. I usually do this on both sides, but today I'm gonna show you guys just how to do one side. So then you can just go to sleep like this and you won't get makeup on your pillow. And then you just have to do one side in the morning. I'm kidding, I don't do that. That has never happened. So I always like to start off with my eyes because that is the trickiest part, especially if I'm wearing like false eyelashes or eyeliner, their real remover by benefit is absolutely amazing. Use about a pea size amount. I am wearing false eyelashes, so sometimes I'll peel them away. Oh, and this time they just came off very easily. If they're really stuck on there, I'll run a little bit of the remover right by the lash line to break down the glue and then peel them off. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this. This also takes away all of my brow makeup. Then run it down the lashes, getting it right onto that lash glue. And this removes eyeliner, pigment, eyelash glue, waterproof mascara, waterproof eyeliner. Sometimes if I'm wearing a really matte lip, I'll actually apply this onto my lips to break down the lipstick too. That's how awesome it is. Once the area feels really smooth, that usually means I've broken down all of the eyeliner, mascara, and eyelash glue. And then we are ready to remove this. And I literally just glide this over, being really gentle. You don't need to put too much pressure on because these makeup remover wipes really remove the makeup for you. I also use the wipe to take off my lipstick. Crazy. And to remove my face makeup, I use this, which is the Neutrogena Pink Creepy Facial Wash. I've been using this for years and it's amazing. And I actually use it dry because it breaks down the makeup really well. And you can see that it's actually breaking down the makeup. Well, you probably can't see because my makeup is so white that it just looks like the cleanser, but trust me, it's breaking down the makeup. And this is also great for breakouts. So if I have a breakout, I'll use this on clean, dry skin, rub it in, and then rinse it off about a minute later. Seriously dries out those blemishes. Now I'm just gonna go and rinse this with some warm water. If I'm wearing a lot of makeup and I need some extra help, then I will use one of those little electric things. This is the Clarisonic Mia 2 and still use that same cleanser because this stuff removes all of your makeup. You have to remember that after you've removed your makeup, you've got to clean your skin. They're two separate things. Just the same way as your moisturizer and your primer are two different things. It's the same with your skincare and your makeup remover. But there you go. That is how I remove my makeup. Super, super easy. Just a couple of steps. And then I can go ahead and do my typical skincare routine. My serums, my lip balms, my eye cream whatever it might be so if you'd like to see a video on that definitely let me know and I will see you guys in a video on Monday hopefully not looking this crazy bye guys it's like the power of makeup but in reverse <laughs>